It's about that time again. You know what time it is. It's time for some... Trivia and Celebrity Bull! <laughs> Justin Bieber. You've probably heard the name, a small minority of you maybe not, but if you live in the US of A, you've no doubt heard of him. Justin Bieber is a music artist from Leafland. Let's go ahead and get that joke out of the way. A leaf! Justin is one of the most successful musicians on the planet. His net worth is $300 million. He has sold millions of albums and almost everyone knows him. I don't really think you need an introduction to Justin, even though my dumbass just introduced him. So yeah, he's popular, blah blah blah, etc, etc. Where am I going with this? Am I a fan of his work? Hell no, not at all. His music is just not my type of music. Listen, all of my favorite artists are either dead or they're pushing 60. Soon, all I'll be left with is my favorite music made by the deceased. I'm bringing Justin up because he made a huge splash on the internet. His rise in fame coincides with the mass introduction of the internet to the general public. His music videos have millions, no, billions of views on them. They are some of the most viewed videos on YouTube. But one in particular stands out. His baby music video. Compared to his other videos, his baby video has an unprecedented number of dislikes. In fact, it's one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. Why is that? Well, in order to understand, we have to go back in time to give you the full idea of what happened. We have to go back to the late 2000s and early 2010s. A mother from Kanukistan started posting videos of her son showing off his pipes in YouTube videos where he sings various covers of songs. Cover songs are all over YouTube. So really, this shouldn't have been anything special, but it was. The right guy with the right connections saw the videos, saw the potential, and so he hit up the boy's mother. He struck some deals, and the rest is history. Basically, Justin Bieber is the prime example of how to get famous from nothing. You have the plants align, and you get really lucky. No, my beautiful range! He would get a few decently successful songs, but none of those mattered compared to his big hit in 2010. Baby, featuring Ludacris. This song was a worldwide hit. No, 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 it was a phenomenon. It was extremely popular worldwide, but especially in the US. This song made Justin a household name, and at only 16, this is what was the start of the trend known as Bieber Fever. Justin now had a horde of fans at his beck and call, all these fans being teenage girls. <laughs> Yeah, like, everyone knew the vast, vast majority of Justin's fans were teenage girls. Mainly because he was a great singer, and they, they thought he was hot. You can produce the worst content or commit atrocities against mankind, but if you are mildly attractive, you will have at least one girl sipping over you. I'm gonna play a not-so-fun drinking game, pull up any footage of Justin Bieber on TV from around the time, and take a drink every time you see a guy in the audience. That bottle of Jaeger is not getting touched. But the long and short of it, Justin was extremely popular and he was everywhere in the early 2010s because of this one song. How was the song itself? Okay, so I have legit not heard this song in well over a decade and my music taste hadn't really come into its own back then, but I did hear it back then and I thought it was annoying. I finally listened to it again after 10 or so years for this video and uh, well, ain't much changed. It's still annoying. I mean, I'm not expecting some Kurt Cobain vocals from a 16-year-old kid. I realize it's just not my type of music. Also, there isn't nearly enough ludicrous in it, the only redeeming part of the song. Song review over. Anthony, why aren't you returning my calls? So maybe you like the song, maybe you don't, but its popularity is undeniable. Now that Justin Bieber is the biggest person on planet Earth, naturally, the parody and mockery will come with the territory. That's just how things are. If something is well known, people will make fun of it. My Justin Bieber doesn't make as much money as yours does. <laughs> no, he won't do that. But man, he sure is cute. I'm from Canada. So, what is the reason behind the massive amount of dislikes on the baby music video? Well, this wasn't really Justin's fault, more so the whole culture surrounding him. When a song is super popular, people will constantly ask for it to be played. So for those who love the song, great! For everyone else, it was pure torture. In order to explain, I have to put you in the mindset of the average internet user around the time. Let's say you're not a teenage girl and you have a completely different taste in music. Let's put you in the shoes of the average white adult male around the time. You wake up in the morning, get dressed, get in your car and head to work. Long drive to work, so you turn on the radio. 
on your local station and what's playing. Oh, it's Justin Bieber's Baby. You turn to a different station, you get a different song, but after that's done... Oh, it's Justin Bieber's Baby again. You just kind of grit your teeth and go along with it. You finally arrive at work. Let's say, oh, a boring 9 to 5 office job. You get started on your office work, but while you're doing this, you hear something familiar in the background. Justin Bieber's Baby. One of your co-workers is playing it. Hi. Uh, could you turn that down just a little bit? But I, I was trying that I could listen to the radio at a reasonable volume. You get through the day with more babies ringing in your ears until you finally clock out and head out. When driving, you decide to cut the radio back on. You can guess what's playing on the hottest station. Before you head home, you realize you need to pick up something to cook for dinner, so you head to your local grocery store. When you walk in, you hear a familiar voice. Justin Bieber, singing on the grocery store sound system. You rush to get the food and get out to escape the 16-year-old menace. You finally get home, in the safe confines of your own house. You sit in your recliner, turn on the TV while your mom, or wife you wish existed, cooks dinner. Guess what's on all the news channels? The Canadian teen himself. Irked, you quickly change the channel to get away, until it's finally time to eat dinner. A delicious meal. Everyone is stuffed and ready for bed. You lay down in bed, finally ready to let sleep take you. But, but wait, what's, what's that, what's that faint sound? It, it's coming from down the hall, and it's coming from your sister slash daughter's room. That voice you were ever so familiar with. She's playing Justin Bieber's baby. She's a huge fan of him. He's in your house. The only way to escape is in your dreams. Oh, you shut the power off. Your choice. After enough agony, you finally fall asleep, and when you wake back up, the whole cycle starts all over again. Wake up, drive your car, go to work, all on the back of your head, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Having to hear this song everywhere you went got under a lot of people's skin. They grew to hate it, and along with it, grew to hate Justin because of it, when it wasn't really his fault. The average person is not going to know the nuances of the companies and the radio stations playing his song on loop 24-7. They're just going to hate the kids singing it for giving them tinnitus in song form. You can't just make fun of a teenager in public without looking like a douchebag, so people turn to the ever-rising public form of communication to vent their frustrations. The internet. Justin was the punchline of everything in the early 2010s. This rich 16 year old boy on everyone's radio was completely torn to shreds, put back together, and torn apart again on pretty much every website and forum. Sometimes it was simple mockery, sometimes it was wishing death upon him. I received this letter from inmate Dana Martin. In it, it he not only admits to hiring two men to try and kill the pop star in the past, but he says there's a new hitman on the loose planning to target Bieber. I'm told today that this new information has sparked a complex investigation. There were multiple videos made to crap on Justin. Song parodies, those are a given. That'll happen no matter the circumstances. Justin was the prime subject for parody. You saw animations all over the whip about him, sometimes in popular cartoons as well. But first, they would come up against their most challenging and most evil opponent, Justin Bieber. In order to save the Earth, this little butthole had to be stopped. Now, some of these are tongue-in-cheek. They were really just poking fun and nothing else. Nothing wrong with a little bit of parody. Now, only if it stopped there. I don't love Justin Bieber. I hate Justin Bieber. I H-A-T-E, Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah, there were Justin Bieber rants all over YouTube. Twas the hot thing at the time. Some people were crapping on Justin, some you might obviously notice, and some defending him saying the obvious, he's just a kid. Stop worshipping him like he's some kind of god, cause he's not. And stop hating on him like he's Chris Brown, he did nothing wrong, he's not even close, he's not even Chris Tan, let alone Chris White, maybe Chris Blue. What was I talking about? You can just search up Justin Bieber rant and find a bunch of crusty videos from some YouTube channels that have not been touched in well over a decade, obviously made by some kids and teenagers ranting about Justin. Oh, I like Justin Bieber, uh because Justin Bieber is cool and liking Justin Bieber makes me cool, right? Wrong. Damn, I better be taking notes from this video editing. So yes, there were parody videos and then there were rant videos. Still not too bad. Now it's time for the edge. While there were some people who thought he was annoying, there were others who just flat out wanted him dead. And so they used the internet to live out those fantasies. 
Flash games were still semi-popular around the time, and so we got games where you can beat up or even flat out murder him. This game doesn't even make sense. Did, did Justin clone himself? Well, whatever the case, the comments love it. And it wasn't just relegated to Flash games. People found other ways to make fan fiction where Justin dies at the end. Justin appeared in two episodes of CSI, where he played official teenage bomber. First episode, he gets sent to prison. Second episode, the director made the major mistake where he's gunned down by police. You could take a wild guess how people exploited this. All this hate and disgust towards Justin, who just made a popular song that made 16-year-old girls swoon. Maybe it was jealousy, maybe it was for shock. I like to think it's just because people were sick of hearing the song everywhere, and this was a way of venting. But come on, you don't need to wish death upon a teen just because you hate hearing his voice. I mean, yeah, he's rich and famous, blah blah blah, he'll be fine. But that will take a toll on someone. He would speak up on this because, well, y you can't really ignore it. Justin was getting crapped on more than anyone else around the time. Like I say, like, on my YouTube page, there's so many, like, haters that just say crazy stuff. Like, or like, yo, he's, you know, look at him. You know, he, he, he puts helium in his voice before he sings. Like, you just gotta laugh at yourself, you know? Yeah. It's funny. And all this wraps back around to the baby music video on YouTube. It's pretty obvious why it has so many dislikes on it as it does now. But there's more to it than just that. In 2011, this song became the most viewed video on YouTube. Over 500 million views. This pissed a lot of people off because YouTube deserved better than that. This fueled people into mass disliking it because this had no reason to be the most viewed video on YouTube. But in order to dislike it, they had to view it first. Therefore, they technically still gave it a view. They doubted the absolute raw power of teenage girls, the driver of a lot of popular things. If they couldn't beat the teenage girls, they were just gonna troll them. Now, Justin wouldn't be a real celebrity without a viral hoax surrounding him. Yes, I'm of course talking about the infamous hashtag bald for Bieber, where 4chan convinced a handful of teenage girls to shave their heads for Bieber after a hoax about Bieber having cancer went viral. This one has been covered a lot in the past, I can't really say much on it, but what a lot of people don't know is there were also two other hoaxes that aren't really as well known. There was hashtag jail for Bieber, a hoax that tried to convince people Justin assaulted a 13 year old girl while on tour, which absolutely no one believed so it was wiped out, and then there was hashtag cutting for Bieber, when a picture of Justin smoking a doob is surfaced online, 4chan started posting as teenage girls cutting their wrists to trick the media into thinking people were actually harming themselves over this. What was this madman's end goal? Chaos. So all this, Justin is still a popular icon around the globe, going on tour and millions love him. He now has the most viewed video on YouTube and all the people who despise him, all they got are some flash games and YouTube videos of him getting virtually maimed and a few teenagers to shave their heads. Bieber haters needed a hero, a hero to fight against this teenage menace. And lucky for them, a hero was on the way. South Korea. Yes, in 2012, the huge phenomenon of Gangnam Style by South Korean artist Psy hit the scene and absolutely took hold of the internet and pop culture. Although, unlike Baby, there were no death threats or flash games about Psy getting brutally maimed online. I mean, there probably were, but not to the same extent. I guess it's because Gangnam Style was a lot more catchy and well received, and since most people didn't understand Korean outside Korea, they could live in blissful ignorance of the lyrics. It took way longer for this song to get annoying. But there's another reason why this song didn't become so hated. This song was literally exploding in popularity, gaining millions upon millions of views on YouTube. This was seen as a sign. Psy and his music video were going to be the Titan Toppler. 
Around this time, the baby music video was slowly creeping its way to the fabled 1 billion views mark, and his haters were not having that. Gangnam Style was seen as an opportunity to take the crown from Justin. All the Bieber haters were going to make this video not only pass it in views, but make it hit the 1 billion mark before Baby did. This genuinely became a competition between Bieber fans and Bieber haters. It was an all out war. Some people were legit just watching the videos multiple times just to give it a view, refreshing the page over and over just for that bit of an edge. There were people who didn't even like Gangnam Style doing this. They just wanted Bieber to lose. All this competition, all this infighting over some music video views. Those Psy simps and believers were at arms and ready to fight for their parasocial relationships. Insults and slurs were flung, venom and toxicity were at their peak, but at the end of the day, there had to be a victor. And that victor was the millionaires. But eventually, Gangnam Style would pass Baby in views, and then, by December 2012, it hit the milestone. The first YouTube video to reach 1 billion views. They had done it. Bieber was never going to be the one to hit that accolade now. It belonged to Psy. This was, of course, headline news, a bunch of articles talking about it, that Justin Bieber haters were overjoyed, dunking on all the believers. And after this incident, everything just sort of died. I mean, I think everyone knew Gangnam Style was just a thing that was going to come and go. It served its purpose of dethroning Bieber and got some god-awful parodies made of it. High school style. Sport. 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 High school style. Hey, lunch High school style. This single-handedly murdered Gangnam Style. After Gangnam hit the milestone, not only did interest in it and Baby die down, but so did the hate for Justin, strangely enough. I mean, yeah, he still got a ton of crap because he was rich, famous, and some people thought he was annoying, but the level of hate he got just never got to the level it once was ever again. I guess it's because they saw this as Justin's ultimate defeat. He weeps at the mere mention of this war. And yeah, celebrity drama with Bieber never ended. It still goes on to this day. Can't forget about the time he got arrested and his mugshot became a meme online for a while. Look at that smile. That is the face of a man who knows he's gonna get away with it no matter what. This video would be hours long if I went over everything Justin did, but this video was mainly to focus on the absolute rage against the beaver the internet was on at the time. Yes, Justin is still a millionaire, yes, he's still famous, but at this point, the gossip around him is no different to any other celebrity nowadays. It is still amazing to me a 16-year-old got this much crap because of one song. The only person that I think can even be compared to this level of hate on the web that wasn't a politician was... Okay, you're gonna laugh at me for this comparison. Jar Jar Binks. Let me explain myself. Only the older ones will know, but in 1999 and the early 2000s, Jar Jar was one of the most hated characters ever. He was the butt of every joke. He was annoying comic relief that wasn't funny. YouTube didn't exist back then for people to rant on, but people still got creative in order to take a dump on Jar Jar. And of course, flash games were made to brutally murder Jar Jar in different ways. He was parodied in multiple forms of media. Nobody liked Jar Jar. The major difference here is, Jar Jar wasn't real. He wasn't a real person. People were bashing and brutally hating on someone that didn't even exist. This still, however, took a toll on Jar Jar's actor, who reportedly wanted to take his own life around the time due to the sheer amount of hate the character got. There was just so much hate and venom and anger directed at me. And I took it personally but nobody really knew of the actor's struggles. They just knew they hated Jar Jar. And a lot of times, you know, I hear people say, we're not talking about you, we're talking about Jar Jar. We're talking about me. I put a lot of me into that work. Fast forward a decade and Justin gets the exact same treatment. He gets mocked, he gets flash games made to beat him up, he gets parodied and everything. It's almost a complete repeat. But obviously, Justin was a real person. Everyone knew he was a real person, but people willingly made all this for a 16-year-old because they thought he was annoying. That's all it takes, I guess. 
But when actually comparing the two, I'd say Jar Jar and his actor Ahmed Best probably got the worst of it compared to Justin because racially charged statements were made towards him and his character. Calling Jar Jar a stereotype was very common back then. Meanwhile, Justin is a pasty white boy from Canada, so he's, he's not going to get any of those comments. I'm from Canada. Yeah, it's been over a decade since, and he seems to have gotten through all of it, being rich and famous and all that, but it's still baffling how the entire internet just collectively dunked on this kid. I'd make some statement about how we've all changed for the better and don't do this anymore. Come on, but ha have we really? Just because we don't have Chris Pratt torture games doesn't mean we haven't stopped hating on celebrities to the same extent. People just wait for them to do something controversial to justify it. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Oh well, can change your internet nature. God bless, like and subscribe, and good night. Just didn't deserve any of this, but God, I do not want to listen to this song again. No more, please! And we all know how, how I feel about Canadian shows. Total Drama Island, 16. So yes, Canada has given us shows like Total Drama, 16, and Justin Bieber. Hey, I'm not saying anything, but is Canada an ally? or an enemy. I mean, really. <laughs> That's just a crazy coincidence here. Uh, yeah, this has been another rant, and uh, if you guys like it, please comment, subscribe, rate, uh, not rate, thumbs up, whatever. See you guys later.